So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the brightness, colors. So the first setting I could think of, very simple. This is a very popular one. It's the R underscore full screen underscore gamma. So that so the default is 2.5, and now the higher you go, the darker the game gets. The lower you go, brighter the game gets. The second thing you can mess around with HDR is in the game, and not a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people realize that HDR is in the game. So some areas that are dark will become darker, and some areas that are bright could potentially become brighter. HDR put it on performance. So the next thing you could take a look at is the color mode. I don't know if it's just the UI. I don't know if it's the actual game. But for some reason, television seems to be a little bit darker. It's very, very, very subtle, though. So two last ones is f your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and you're if you're using the digital vibrance or the color filters from the NVIDIA overlay, consider disabling or reducing the overall vibrance. Uh, that could be a role on why some people think the game is really, really bright. It's because of the saturation of, of the colors and the vibrance that the game has. Everything is super poppy, but it oh, it's it's kind of like highlighter on the screen. And then the last thing I can think of is your monitor settings. I know some of us, especially if you're FPS gamers, have tuned your monitor to look pastel, basically. Almost pastel on your screen. Go ahead and turn those things down or turn them off and then see how how you know CS2 feels.